Claro man sir no. Tana kita na. Sige. Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to report Good all morning. about morning, sir. rock crushers, washers and equipments and types of concrete. So rock crushers. You can see in the picture these are examples of rock crushers. So rock crushers is a machine designed to reduce large rocks into small rocks, gravels, sand or rock dust. May be used to reduce the size, change its form. I mean, reduce the size of the materials. There are different stages of rock crushing methods that may be used on certain projects, but it does not apply to all, because in some projects, uh, it would require big aggregates, and and some projects it would require small. So it may vary. So there are three types of crushers. Crushers that will be used will depend on the feeding method. So there are, on this report, I will be talking about uh, three types of crushers, a primary crusher, secondary crusher, and tertiary crusher. So on this picture on the right side, uh, these are factors for select, selection of crushing equipments. So moving on, the stages of rock crushing. Primary crusher is mainly used for crushing large stones into pieces. Secondary crusher is used to reduce the size even more, so smaller than the, uh, the primary crushers. And the tertiary crusher to reduce the size of the crushed pieces very much to the required size. It also brings fineness to the crushed materials, so very fine ng materials. Dere. So, principal types of crushers. So, again, these pictures are examples of crushers. So the first one is a jaw crusher. One of the main types of primary crushers, the size of the jaw crusher is designated by irregular, a rectangular or square opening at the top of the jaws. It reduces large size rocks or ores by placing the rock into compression. And due to their small, smaller physical size, this type of crusher is ideal to tight spaces such as underground mining and mobile crushing. So here below are the parts of a jaw crusher so jaw crushers are small in size which makes them easier in tight spaces next is the impact crushers this type of crusher is designated as a primary secondary tertiary depending on which process stage the equipment is being utilized or required final product size so it can be used in the three stages generally it generally has a higher operating cost than other crushers. This equipment tends to produce a more uniform particular shape, so cubical. So the, there are two common types of impact crushers, the horizontal shaft impactor and the vertical shaft impactor. So the horizontal shaft impactor is one of the most popular tools for producing cube-shaped products. It, it is also known for high reduction ratios when processing soft and medium hard materials and has a horizontal shaft configuration. So on this figure below, as you can see, on the top left, it is the entrance where you will drop the materials and it will, it will turn and crush the aggregates. So next is a vertical shaft impactor. It is designed to be used in secondary, tertiary, or quaternary stage crushing. It is suitable for a wide range of applications including the production of high-quality sand, well-formed aggregates, and industrial minerals. It is used mostly in quarries and gravel pits to produce productions for roads and asphalt ball ballasts. So, uh, compared to the horizontal shaft impactor, the vertical shaft impactor as an opening on its top, as you can see on the picture on the left side. So next type of crusher is a gyratory crusher. Principally used in surface crushing plants, uh, it provides high throughput and less downtime to bring maximum effic efficiency to the operation and is used for initial size reduction to convert big rocks into smaller stones. So. If we have big rocks that cannot be used on 
the small crushers, we use this type of crusher. Next is the cone crusher. Uh, cone crushers are a compression type of machine that reduces materials by squeezing or compressing the feed materials between a moving piece of steel and a stationary piece of steel. It is normally used in secondary, tertiary, and quaternary crushing stages. So here in the picture, as you can see, it has a cone shape uh, inside of its, inside the crusher. So here on the top, you will drop the materials and this cone in the middle will spin, crushing the aggregates. So uh, I've seen in the, I've took this picture from the sim. And these are the principal types of rock crushers and their characteristics. So here on the first part is a crusher type, its maximum feed, production ratio, production size, and its crushing stage. So next is a feeders and screens. Feeders are used to supply gravel or stone to a crusher. Uh, types of feeders include apron feeders, reciprocating plate feeders, vibrating feeders, and belt feeders. So apron feeders, also known as, as pan feeders. So this type of feeder is like from the grocery when you when you're at the counter and you put the the purchase items, it will automatically move the items forward. So a mechanical type of feeder used in material handling operations to transfer materials to other equipment or extract materials. It is usually installed under the opening at the discharge of a hopper. So, next is the uh, reciprocating plate feeders. Somewhat similar to an apron feeder, but is smaller and used mainly to feed secondary or tertiary crushers. Device used to empty a bin or hopper from the bottom of by the horizontal reciprocating action of its parts, usually after primary crushing. So next is the vibrating feeders. This utilizes both vibration and gravity to move materials forward. Gravity is used to determine the direction either down or down and to a side. And then vibration is used to move the material. Next are the belt feeders. It is commonly used when materials that are either stockpiled or loaded in a bin hopper needs to be transferred at a controlled rate. So consists of a hopper positioned directly over the belt conveyor. The belt conveyor pulls the materials out from under the hopper, while an adjustable vertical strike of plate controls the height of materials allowed to advance as the belt moves forward for transportation. So uh, washers and other equipments. Aggregates often require washing to remove silt, clay, or organic materials prior to process and sorting. We, we need to remove uh, the unwanted, unwanted materials since it may affect uh, the properties of our aggregates. Common types of washing equipment include scrubber drums, wet screens, log washers, sand dehydrators, and classifying tanks. So scrubber drums. It consists of an inclined remove, revolving drum equipped with agitator fins and water spray nozzles. Process removes undesirable materials such as aggregates with, are mixed with water and agitated while moving down the drum. So next is the wet screens. Uh, these are essentially vibrating screens equipped with water spray bars to remove undesirable materials as the aggregate is screened. So as you can see in the picture, there is a spray bar, and while the aggregates are being screened, the spray bar removes undesirable materials. Next is the lug washers. These are very high energy units designed to disintegrate tough clay particles. It utilizes auger paddles immersed in a tub of water to wash off undesired materials. Sand dehydrators. This consists of rotating auger screws mounted in an inclined trow. Water and materials to be cleaned are piped into the bottom of the trough. As the aggregates are moved up 
through the throw by the screen conveyors, the lighter materials are not needed, overflows, and is drained off. So basically, it, it removes the unwanted materials when it is moved up. So next is the production of concrete. Concrete is produced by mixing Portland cement, aggregates, and water. Additives may be added to enhance the workability or properties. So mix, mixing the Portland cement, aggregates, and water and letting it settle uh, creates uh, new materials for construction. So construction operations involved in pro production of concrete include batching, mixing, transporting, placing, consolidating, finishing, and curing. So uh, these are some examples. Uh, the batching plant uh, here. So types of concrete. Fresh concrete has many applications and can be used in different structures. Uh, concrete is made in normal, standard, and high strength grade. So it would depend on the requirements of the project. There are different types of concrete. This include the normal strength concrete, the plain or ordinary concrete, which is mainly used, uh, the reinforced concrete, pre-stressed concrete, the precast concrete, lightweight, high density, air and train, ready mix, volumetric, decorative, rapid set, and smart concrete. So types of concrete, mass concrete is concrete used in a structure that is that its weight provides most of the strength of the structure, thus lessening the need for reinforcing steel, such as dams, structural columns, bridges, bridge piers, thick slabs, etc. Also, its unit weight is similar to regular concrete. Heavyweight concrete is made with heavy aggregates such as barite, magnetite, and steel punchings. It is used primarily, primarily for nuclear radiation shieldings. So the, the bigger or the higher the, the aggregates, the, the more it shields in radiation. So no slump concrete is concrete having slump of one inch or less. It is measured by tests mainly used in beddings of pipelines and concrete placed on inclined surfaces. Next is additives. There are additives or admixtures fused together with the concrete that enhances its properties. Some of the principal types of additives are used in air entraining agents, water reducing agents, retarded accelerators, pozzolans, and workability agents. So for air entraining agents, it improves workability. Water reducing agents has special chemical products added, same family products of retarders, also decreases the concrete's porosity. Retarded accelerators, chemical agents that slow down the setting of the cement, and pozzolans, cement replacement rather than cement addition. So mixed design, its purpose is to ensure the most optimum proportion of materials used to fulfill the requirement of the structure being built. So concrete mix is cement, sand, and aggregates. So there are two methods of mixing concrete, the machine mixing and hand mixing. In machine mixing, uh, we use machines like, like the, the machines we, we use on laboratory and hand mixing. So we can, when we see in the construction site that laborers mix the concrete. So concrete mix, or I mean, mix design would depend on the requirements of the project. So batching and mixing. Batching is a process of proportioning cement, water, aggregates, and additives prior to mixing concrete. Batching plants that consist of separate aggregates and cement batching units are often used for serving truck mixers. So transactions are usually handled in bulk since it would be very costly to just buy minimal amount since we have to consider mobilization. So transporting and handling of cement there are different equipments that are available for transporting concrete from the mixer to its destination. Here are some equipments that are commonly used, the transit mixer, trucks, and agitator trucks. So as you can see in the picture, on the top part, it is the transit mixer, and on the bottom part, it is the agitator trucks. There are no difference between transit mixer and agitator trucks since its main, 
excuse me, since its main purpose is to transport and handle cement, also mix cement while on transport while transporting. Also, there are dump trucks, conveyors, pumps, and cranes. So dump trucks here for mobilization, uh, conveyors when transporting cement, uh, pump crates. These are used when there are instances that you need to carry uh, cements on a higher higher ground or cannot be reached. And cranes for transporting. Ivan, Ivan. Sir. Ivan, itanong mo daw sa kanila kung ano ang tawag dito sa ano. Yung mixer na may nakakonect na kwan, uh -huh. uh, pipelines. Ito, sir. Mo daw. Uh, sino nakakalam nito? Meron tayong tinawag dito sa construction dito sa ano ha. Dito sa Pilipinas, yung may, meron tayong kwan, parang terminology dito na hindi masyadong kwan na tawag natin hindi siya standard kumbaga no ang konsakwan pag kinantong ay nestoryahan ba okay so ang tawag dito yung blue the blue one the blue mixer attached with a long ano concrete kan pipeline si sinong nakakaalam dito sa ano sa klase sir pump crit pump crit nga yan so anong yes, tawag sa pump crit na ito Sa construction, sa kwan, sa construction parlance, ang tawag namin dito is elephant type. Elephant. Mm, elephant type. Mm, elephant type. Okay. So, mas madali kasi itong kwan. Very kwan ito. Very versatile, no? Kasi ang pag-deliver sa ano, pag-deliver sa first concrete on-site, no? the way you pour it, eh, eh, ililipat lang yung ito. Ililipat mo lang yung tip, yung pinakadulo nito. Then, itatransfer mo lang kung saan mo ipapour in yung concrete. So, very versatile ito. No? Very mobile. Kaya lang, medyo mahal ang setup nito. May minimum charge ito. Dati, pag mag-order ka, mag bayaran mo pa yung per cubic, bayaran mo pa yung ano, setup. Kasi medyo mabusisi din kasi ano, ang, ang, ang tawag nito, ang trabaho pag setup ng, kuha, ng ganitong, ano, ganitong klaseng pump creep, no So, bayaran mo pa yung setup. Sige, proceed sa bate. Thank you, sir. So, that's all for my sources. These are the sources. Mostly sa pictures, Google search, tapos mga other vlogs and PDFs. And also the the sim. Okay. So, just kwan lang, bear in mind na kukuha ako ng pointers doon sa sa mga materials na binigay ko. Then of course, pertaining to the report na lang, kung anong title ng report, so kagaya ng howling and loading, no? kukuha ko, dozing, bulldozer, mayroon tayong tinawag doon na backhoe, so marami no? mga excavators. Na-mention na yan sa previous report, so may 